Guys, I was talking to Beyond Drew TV today, and I'm like, you know, I don't have a cool intro like the rest of you guys have. I just kind of come into these videos, and it's like you and I have been talking for like the last 10 minutes, and I just swoop in on a point. Normally, I'm just like, oh, man, guys, you're, you're not going to believe what happened with this area over here. And like some of you guys are new, and you have no clue what area I'm talking about over there. <laughs> but we were just talking about intros, and all of my little people, they have cool ones like you know John T starts out with hello you welcome to geekism and welcome back to another and I'm like oh man that's cool and then Silverette's got like a really deep baritone you know he's like hey everybody and you know Beyond Drew his is like hey everybody Beyond Drew TV here welcome back to the channel and welcome back to whatever he's working on and you know John Mass Bandit he, he's got one he's like um, hey there YouTube friends, Mass Bandit. Thanks for coming back and hanging out with me today. I always do appreciate it. Everybody's got one. Delady Signer, she's she's got like the most masterful microphone like I've ever heard. She's like, Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I love you. And I'm like, that sounds extremely pleasant. Almost like ASMR pleasant. <laughs> Then here I am, just, burr, here we go, guys. I got a tree put down. I put some bison in here. But I don't really have a cool intro. That I don't have a cool intro or outro. I just kind of babble on and talk until I run out of stuff to say, and then we just kind of end the video. But, oh, well, I guess you guys aren't here for my intros and outros. You're here for this uh, this really interesting, weird planet zoo mischief that we get in here so i don't know maybe one of these days i'll come up with a cool uh a cooler intro but anyways guys this is one of those builds where i typically something like this waits till the weekend um i've been working on this for a couple hours now um even i was messing around and, and redoing this layout and messing with this track so much I filmed a little bit of time lapse, but after that, I'm like, you know what? I'm just going to go ahead and turn this off because there is way too much to be done. Um, and I am taking up a lot of hard drive space <laughs> with this. So this is another one of those uh, deals where I think we'll, uh, I'll show off what I've done in real time. We've got the prong horns. We've got the bison in here. I so badly want to call, I know it sounds horribly cliche, but I want to call this buffalo valley but we know for all of you nerds out there these aren't really like quote unquote buffalo even though it's like it's almost like universally accepted now to call these buffalo they're really bison but bison valley doesn't sound as good as buffalo valley or buffalo plains um so i don't know well you, you'll just know this is the bison area not everything here has to have a name but um there is so much rock work going on um like we were saying I needed to give this herd a very, very substantial amount of space. And um, kind of what I'm working on here is the whole Jeep ride, like the 4x4, I wanted it to go up, like, the, like hug the side of this ridge so you could either take the truck down this valley, like on the side of this ridge, or you could walk. And, you know, like I was guessing like the trade-off would be the weight to get onto these trucks or you know just you know taking it all in and i think the route that this truck that the trucks end up taking um ended up just being really really cool following above the path and um I, you know i've still got a ton of work to do i want to make like the supports on the side of the path look you know you know beef it up a little bit and make it look a little more realistic i so wish there was actual drivers in these things you know like go full on kilimanjaro safari type type drivers in them instead of being um, automated i will tell you there's no way to get rid of the track because i know some of you guys that are new may be looking at it like oh god why didn't this doofus just get rid of the track and just imply the road well you can't do that it's all or nothing so the track has to be there but i will show you some different spots where i've 
pretty much made it disappear, but I've got the truck rising high enough into the air where the like the truck is just barely the wheels are under the ground a little bit, but from far enough back. And if you kind of squint your eyes and tilt your head a little bit to the left, you cannot tell that those tires are sunk into the ground whatsoever. So that is what I will run with. <laughs> so this uh, let, let's go ahead. I know I, did, I know you guys like watching the time lapses, but that's a lot of times that's not my forte. I like to um, I, I build better off camera. Um, I don't know. I just think like you guys are like watching and critiquing every move I do when I film the time lapses and kind of like judging me. But uh, so we will jump into the real time and let me just explain this to you a little more and uh, you can see the buff you can see the, uh, I almost said it you can see the bison the American bison and the pronghorn frolicking one of the bison is already pregnant so we're gonna have us a little baby soon maybe by the time we get out of the real time so uh, yeah just sit back please and uh, I will catch you in just a sec and I will talk about some of this mischief with you hold on all right, guys, so you are going to have to tell me what you think of this. We've got the bison planes here. I've got the herd. I've got the pronghorn running around. Um, this is just, I think we've given them a really, really cool little area, given them a lot, a lot of space. This is kind of like, I've got the little 4x4 four four that comes in here. I love those opening doors. I I think that is just killer. And right here, this is about as low, this is about as high as I could get the car. May could maybe work on it and get it a little higher, but that is about as high as I could go without seeing the track and making it look like, you know, the truck is really out here on the plains and kind of letting the people see the little buffalo kind of frolic around. And then, of course, you know, I've implied the uh, the track with the, you know, the different terrain paint and stuff like that. And I've still got a lot of work to do up on that hill. Um, it's all going to look like, see, this, like this right here is kind of the finished formula. This little area right here is kind of what I want most of it to look like. Um, really weathered, really worn. I've got the trucks at about 27 seconds apart because I think I'm going to do that with the boats too because it just doesn't look good when they follow each other like right on top of each other, you know? So I think 27 may even end up going to 30 seconds um, to just get that little bit of separation in here. Your pronghorns, they're bad about blocking the trucks when they come through. That was, if you saw my picture on Twitter earlier of Ember jumping up on top of one of the trucks and all of them were like in a big traffic jam out here. But um, yeah, like I said, you guys will have to let me know what you think about the planes and oh my God, we do have the little baby. I knew it would be born. Look at it. Is that not the cutest stinking little thing? Oh. It's going to take a little rest. That is so cute. Let's see what they've named it. Zoe. That's a cute name. Little Zoe. Uh-oh. Tempest is coming over to check Zoe out. That is too cool. We got two Zoes. wonder if that's the mom. <laughs> There's Vesha, Yvette, Yvesha. I think that's how you say that, Yvesha. And that's Zane, that's the big boy. Ooh, here come daddy. Stomping over Zoe, okay. Uh, let's see, who else do we have a part of this? That's Yvesha, uh, Zoe, Tempest. And who is this? Zadie. <laughs> We've got, uh oh, we've got a pretty good herd guy. Oh no, she's got offspring due as well. So Zane has been doing his job. He just come in and blasted the food. So Zadie is pregnant. I, I, you know what? So that's why I put the contraception on Zane earlier. Because um, I didn't know if, you know, I didn't want to get like, start a 
Cortis situation here where he starts breeding with all of them and we have start having space issues. Because I was about to say, I don't remember hitting the contraception on him. I thought there was just one baby being born, but nope, we got that one and then, uh, and then another one on the way. Um, but anyways, so yeah, this is, a, this is a whole little area, guys. This kind of encompasses um, our... Uh, bison plains, if you will, and this is kind of like the what I was talking about. I want to beef up the little, um, kind of like the little running guards that go down through here, and this over here is where they start. So, it, like the line, you can jump in it like right before you get to Black Bear Trail, and then jump on, and then it it um it ends right over here. So obviously we've got Waylon. Where is he at? Waylon, he's do he was doing good earlier. Let's see. Yep, everything is still good with Waylon. He's being fed. He was starving earlier. I'm not sure why. So Waylon is doing good and now he has some neighbors. The next thing I want to do too is um uh oh. The next thing look at him running. That's awesome. The next thing I want to do is get some ranger stations built um as far as the um as far as the planes go like and you know i kind of want to theme it off like you know um wilderness frontier you know do it like really tall um log cabin style uh oh zadie had her baby who is this little fella that's emberlin okay so i've got a pronghorn named emberlin too so now we got two little babies running around. That should be it for now because we've got Zane on contraceptives. And who is this? This is Zane. Okay, so Zane. Okay, so we got to change up some names because obviously they're going with the, with the North American names here. I got two male Zanes. So he will have to change. We will go with... Richard! <laughs> So our male pronghorn, he will be Richard. And the little babies are following Zadie around and blocking the trucks. <laughs> but yeah, I'm, I'm hoping to like do some kind of really cool plaza right here. Uh, dangerous animal has escaped. Okay, I've got the fence a little too, a little too close. Um... But yeah, I want to do a, a plaza out here, uh, get more foliage in place. And what I was thinking, one of you guys had a really, really nice suggestion. It may have even been Hunter again, um, Hunter C. But he was saying it would be cool if the wolf exhibit, um, which is, you know, going to go like back here, would almost like looks look like it's a part of the whole bison um, pronghorn area. And I think that would be really cool to have like the like a, the part of the wolf area um, up on this hill, kind of overlooking um, overlooking the the plains over there, you know, overlooking the bison plains. I think that is an awesome idea because basically the wolf area is going to um, basically box out the rest of the uh, of the American area over here. And then the um, the grizzly bear area will be out here, kind of flanking the other side of our river adventure. So this is going to be reserved for the grizzly bear. Um, back here is going to be reserved for the, uh, the timber wolves. And I don't know what this will be. Uh, maybe we'll find some more animals that we think um, can, can kind of be, you know, close enough to North American type animals. Um, and we'll, you know, kind of, kind of get that figured out as we go. But for right now, like I said, I think this whole area will be, um, it will be reserved for the, uh, the wolf habitat, which I think will be, um, really, really cool. Got basically the natural barrier up the big hills. And, uh, like we had talked about before, wanted to make this as flat as possible. Um, no rocks, no trees out here, just open plains for them. We've got the trucks running through. And like I said, it butts up right against, um, 
you know, Wayland's habitat. And I put this fence up here so people kind of wouldn't come back here to look at the bison from this way. So this would be, um, you know, just totally black bear trail to take in the black bears from over here. So you would um, really pretty much need to go around or jump in the trucks to see the bison area. And uh, I've got a little cover over here. Got to do some more, more foliage work out here. And like I said, get the road more like I like it. But I think I'd got enough done. We'll get the tops of these mountains and stuff filled. But like I said, I think I got enough done to, you know, constitute coming in and at least showing you guys a little bit of this video. Kind of what's going on. We'll get us a fence up right here, of course. Uh, I've got the little natural water barrier here so they don't come across and stomp people. But um, I am really, really excited about this whole area. I think it come out absolutely killer. And the trucks make it. I think without the trucks, um, probably wouldn't be as of a star attraction. But with those trucks running in here and being able to come in and actually see the herd and, um, and you know, get this close to them, um, I just think that's killer. The entry and exit points, I think, came out really good, and I really want to work on some cool, um, some cool, like, ranger towers for the North American area, and as we said before, remember, like, the ranger tower will go right here, and that will be your pass holder preview areas, because remember, like, over here, we have got, um, where, what's a good example? Oh, the, uh, the Bonobo area. Remember, this is your VIP area right here. And of course, the, um, the crocodile area right there. Um, do we have, yeah, we have one, um, with the rhinoceroses VIP area. And then of course the hippos VIP pass holder. So I want to do something in the vein of North America for the, um, you know, for the uh, bison and the pronghorn. So definitely want to get some kind of, um, and then of course, uh, Wilson as, or uh, Waylon as well. But that is going to be a design I'm working on. Some kind of tall, you know, just some kind of tall Western Ranger Tower, I think would be awesome. And, uh, but anyways, guys, yeah, I'll jump on out of here. Here's you a massive, massive overview of the zoo so far. Isn't it weird? We've only been working on this like two weeks and look, it's like, we're only out to here. Like, don't you, don't you think like this would be like this whole area would be full by now? I don't know if we're just, if I'm just working slow or, uh, or what's going on, but I am just, I know I'm having a ball right now. This is a look into Wayland's den area from the glass. So, um, you know, you'd be able to walk up those steps or just kind of peer in on him if he's over here hanging out. But, um, you know, I think we are, um, like I said, I think we're making some pretty good progress here. I know I am having a blast. You guys are absolutely killing it with the likes and the comments and the engagement. Um, we are up like 50,000 views um, from last month, and that is absolutely uh, rocking and rolling, and uh, I am definitely, definitely having a blast bringing you guys like these daily videos. That's cool too, just just having the daily upload schedule, and it's really cool too that nothing's messed us up on that yet. Um, you know, so that is pretty neat. I'll try to keep that going as long as I can. Uh, I know I think we skipped Friday, but well, you know what? I don't know if I got one put out late, late Friday night or, or early Friday morning. I might have skipped, but here's the little baby one. Oliver. But anyways, guys, yeah, I'll go ahead and jump on out of here. Let me know what you think about the whole Plains area and, uh, and how you think this area come out. So, uh, yep, I guess that's it then. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Thank you. See you.